He's not separate yet. Oh. <laughs> okay, no, so, so so you have a moving alarm clock. Right. And so if the and there's a there's proximity sensors next to the snooze and the and the uh, and the alarm on off and the alarm on off switch. And so if you so currently the alarm's set to 15:13. Okay, so now the alarm is ringing. Okay, so now as you soon as I try to turn it off and I try to snooze it, <laughs> it senses my finger there, and it's and the same thing if I try to hit that switch to turn off the alarm, it's going to keep moving away from and, me. And and so how do you actually turn it off before you kill it? <laughs> so the I guess when you're when it's moving, it's somewhat easier to. <laughs> You have to sort of move with yeah. it to, I to see. actually hit it. So it definitely would get you out of bed if you were if you were lying in bed and this thing was next to your bed. You, there's no way you could turn it off without actually getting up and moving. So yeah, we think it, we think it meets the goal cool. pretty well. Yeah. So now it's actually going to ring. The alarm will ring in another nine minutes. Probably don't want to oh, be because, that, because yeah. because of, I snoozed it. Yeah. Because you snoozed it. Now, mm -hmm. point to the pieces on here. So I guess so to start we have all our push, push buttons for the uh, so this is like to time set if you want to change the time for example if it, hours minutes and yeah okay so now sixteen thirteen and then alarm set alarm set actually changes the actual alarm so I mean, similar process uh -huh. uh, snooze is uh, to snooze alarm nine minutes into the future um, yeah. and then we have this is just a basic proximity sensor and it just uses IR and if it senses an object there it outputs a digital high and then the microcontroller will read that. I see, I see a light go on on the yeah. back of it which indicates that it's, I see. That it sees an object. It sees there. an object. Yeah. And, and, but, so, I can certainly see one on the snooze alarm. Isn't it sadistic to have a, a sensor also on the alarm on or off? Or yeah, it sort of is, but our goal is to really make sure that somebody who had a hard time getting up would actually have to get out of bed to silence it in any way. So okay. if, if you could just turn it off without it moving, then I you see. just go so, for that instead of the snooze but, the, but there's a sort of a delicate balance be between annoying the person and having <laughs> them stomp the thing to death, right? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. So, I, the, so the idea is you put this on the bed, on, on the floor next to your bed. Mm -hmm. and, or 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 on a table, or yeah. something. We, and we think if we if we padded this a little bit, the chassis is certainly rugged enough to yeah. go right off the table. So you just right crash now, off the table and let it and let it go on. Yeah, <laughs> we actually originally we got this uh, sensor to kind of sensor obstacles, but this when we were testing out the chassis, uh, when it crashed, it actually sometimes even tried to climb up. Oh so, really? Yeah, it was pretty rugged and. See, so, so you could ruggedize it to be a. Uh, to be an actual uh, uh, fall off the table and run along the floor. Yeah. yeah. So this, the and also the seven segment display thing here is sort of interesting hardware behind this. This only has 16 pins on the device, but there are four digits each, mm -hmm. which has eight segments. Well, seven plus a decimal point, which we're not using. So it's multiplexed such that the same eight pins control the segments on all of the digits. Right. So in order to get it to display four different digits at once, we had to write a driver for it in software that would... So it's actually only driving one digit at a time, and right. it's cycling through them right. rapidly so it looks to our so, eyes like they're all on. Yeah. Right, and it's, and it's a good illusion, right? That's plenty yeah. bright. And then we also have a... The alarm tone is generated by a 555-based oscillator over here, mm -hmm. and then this is the motor control circuit, which isolates the the MCU circuit from the motor power supply. Okay, and the and the cardboard on the front is a resonator that allows you to get a little more sound out of the speaker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, cool.